Hey, what's up? My name is Leif Arneson. I'm the founder of TheVeganGym.com, and today we're gonna to be talking about when should you consume vegan protein? So when I started getting into fitness, I would take a shaker bottle to the gym every single day, and I was really focused on trying to get as much protein as possible within my workout and also after my workout to really get the most out of my training. And over the years, I've learned more about protein timing and why it actually doesn't matter so much to be consuming protein within your workout or right after your workout. And that's really what we're gonna talk about today. So in today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about when you should consume plant protein, which is known as protein timing. So the idea of protein timing originated in the early bodybuilding days when strength and physique athletes logically hypothesized that consuming protein as quickly as possible after a workout would immediately initiate the muscle recovery process and ensure maximum gains. Of course, I always finish it off with a nice protein shake. Taken to the extreme, some bodybuilders, even today, will argue that if you miss your post-workout anabolic window, then you're going to lose out on all of your potential gains that you just worked your butt off for in the gym. In this context, the word anabolic refers to muscle building. Though anabolic processes are generally defined as the construction of molecules from smaller units. Until recently, peer-reviewed scientific literature actually supported the idea that you should consume protein as soon as possible after a workout. In fact, a 2013 article published in the American Journal of Lifestyle Medicine noted that consuming protein and other nutrients within 45 minutes after exercise increases muscle and strength gains. Dozens of studies conducted over the last 30 years have reached similar conclusions all suggesting that you should aim to consume an adequate amount of protein within about an hour after you finish a workout. These studies have reinforced the myth of the anabolic window. However, a recent meta-analysis that reviewed the data from 20 of these protein timing studies unveiled a common flaw among the study's designs. The renowned hypertrophy researchers who conducted this meta-analysis found that most of the differences in muscle mass gains cited in the previous protein timing studies could be explained by differences in total daily protein intake. In other words, subjects in the immediate post-workout protein intake group within these 20 protein timing studies consumed more total protein than the control groups. When the meta-analysis researchers reanalyzed all of the collected data to account for this discrepancy, they concluded that the results actually, quote, refute the commonly held belief that the timing of protein intake in and around a training session is critical to muscular adaptations and instead indicate that consuming adequate protein in combination with resistance exercise is the key factor for maximizing muscle protein accretion. A 2014 study conducted at McMaster University reinforced their conclusion by finding that muscle sensitivity to amino acids remains elevated for at least 48 hours after exercise. However, this sensitivity spikes around three hours after exercise and drops over time, so consuming protein sooner rather than later tends to have a greater effect on muscle protein synthesis, which theoretically leads to more muscle and strength gains over time. In conclusion, there is no clear anabolic window during which you must consume protein or you risk losing all of the gains that you just worked for in the gym. There is no research to suggest that eating protein immediately after your workout will benefit you more than eating protein a few hours after your workout. But between three and 24 hours, the research is a bit fuzzy. So just to be on the safe side, it's probably best to consume protein within three hours after exercise especially if you are a competitive strength athlete or bodybuilder. But if you miss this window, then there's really no reason to worry. While an exact answer to the how long is your post-workout anabolic window question will probably never be found due to the sheer number of factors, the current working hypothesis established by leading hypertrophy researchers, such as Dr. Brad Schoenfeld, who has authored much of the latest research on the topic, is that it depends on your pre-workout nutrition. 
For example, if you work out fast in the morning, it's more important for you to eat post-workout protein sooner than someone who works out in the afternoon after eating two meals packed with calories and protein. However, if you work out in the evening after your last meal of the day, then you should probably consume a protein shake before going to bed. To make your diet potentially as optimal as possible for stimulating muscle protein synthesis, you should space your daily protein intake evenly across four to five meals per day. In a 2018 scientific review published by the renowned hypertrophy researchers Dr. Brad Schoenfeld and Alan Aragon, they write, quote, based on the current evidence, we conclude that to maximize anabolism, one should consume protein at a target intake of 0.4 grams per kilogram of body weight per meal across a minimum of four meals in order to reach a minimum of 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. I weigh 85 kilograms right now, so that means that I should consume at least 34 grams of protein per meal across a minimum of four meals in order to reach a minimum of 136 grams of protein per day. So I hope that you found this video to be really helpful. As you can see from this research, the exact protein timing that you follow doesn't matter too much. What really matters is consuming enough total protein across the entire day. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.